Hello everyone, it's Liz here with Garden Happy. So I'm at the thrift store browsing through my favorite section, the garden section. However, I just discovered this sweet little rocking chair. I just sat on it and it's so comfortable. I'm thinking I really don't like the color black, but I could paint that something really pretty and put it in my front porch. It's a perfect size for me, so what do you think? It's only $15. Okay, she's all loaded up and ready to take home. First things first, I gotta put on my paint shirt. I can't tell you how many shirts I've ruined by telling myself I'm not gonna get any paint on me. Not to mention, I always get paint in my hair, so up it goes in a visor. Now it's time to go through my paint and pick out a color. As you can see, I never throw old paint away. I just never know when I'm gonna need it. Before I start painting, I'm gonna wipe down the chair and remove all the dirt and dust, just so the paint sticks a little bit better. It was getting a little hot, so I decided to move my project inside the house. Plus, it's really hard for me to paint when the sun is in my eyes. And if you notice this, I'm not worried about getting this ruined with paint because I pick up these cheap tablecloths and old curtains at the thrift store so I can use them as tarps. Now it's time to get painting. So my color scheme for this chair is going to be pink and purple. I'm going to make the whole base pink with some purple flowers and white highlights and I'm going to show you how I do it. I just pick up cheap little brushes at the hardware store for like a dollar each and then if I decide to wash them or throw them away it really doesn't matter because I don't buy expensive things. I don't need to. And a lot of times these paints I just pick up samples. You can get a cheap sample for about seven dollars instead of buying a whole gallon. So when I say pink and purple this is kind of an idea of what my color scheme is going to look like. This big love door, something similar to this color. Putting the first coat of paint on anything is always the most rewarding because you see instant results and it's so colorful and pretty. I just use regular house paint that I get at my local hardware store or big box store. It's nothing special, it's just water-based. Definitely easy to clean, except off my shirts, of course but I always make sure to get a semi-gloss finish. That way, it's just easier to keep clean, especially when I leave a lot of my painted furniture outside in the weather. And in case you're wondering if this paint will fade, well, yes, unfortunately, in the direct sunlight it will, which is why I do my best to keep my art projects either inside my patio or behind trees in the shade. The first coat of paint has already dried, now I'm applying the second coat. The second coat of paint always goes on a lot faster. I've tried using a sunproof varathane in the past, but honestly it didn't work very well. After about six months it started to peel off, it turned my projects a dingy yellow, and it just made them look worse in the end. If you have discovered a better product than the one that I used, please let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. Now that the second coat is completely dried, this is when I start having the most fun and I get to be super creative. Now I'm going to paint little flowers using a pencil eraser. Yep, you heard me right, a pencil eraser. You simply dip the pencil eraser in paint and dot. I'll make little dots for the center of each flower and then I'll make more dots around for the petals. And if I ever wanted to make bigger flowers, I would just use a bigger pencil or my fingertips. Now I'm gonna use a little paintbrush and outline each flower to make them pop. This has always been one of my favorite techniques because, well, it's super easy and it's fun.
And as you can see, I'm not trying to be perfect. Let's face it, in nature, flowers aren't perfect, so neither should art. Just go for it. No two flowers will ever be painted the same, and that's okay because that's what makes your own art by your own hand unique and original. Now that you see how easy it is to paint flowers or trim using a pencil eraser, I genuinely hope that this little technique, or I should call it a paint trick, inspires you and encourages you to paint something for your garden too. And like I said, you could always use your fingertips as well. Your pointer finger would work great. Painting should never be hard or scary, but it should always be fun. So just go for it. You never know what you might create. Now the fun part is deciding where will it go? Amazing what you can do with a pencil eraser. You'll never look at a pencil the same. Thanks for watching.